What's up, guys? Welcome to Just a, bit outside. a special edition to Charger Overtime. I'm Ford here with Jacob, Miles, Max, and we have an exciting uh, show today talking about the weird postseason for the MLB and our very own Mount Rushmore of college football uniforms. Let's go. <laughs> All right. In MLB postseason, obviously we already know this is weird because the season was cut down and some teams that usually probably wouldn't make the postseason and probably wouldn't have if it was an extended season um, made it this year. And, I mean, like, honestly, they have a legit shot of upsetting just because it's baseball. Uh, who do you guys have as your predictions? Uh, I've got the Dodgers winning it all. Um, even though Mookie Betts got hard the other night, um, I think he'll be fine. And then they, I mean, they got a really tired roster. They got Kershaw's back. Joe Kelly's a really good pitcher now. Um and then Cody Bellinger, really solid infielder and and can hit the ball as well as anyone. And then Mookie Betts is one of the best fielders in the league. So I agree with Max. I'm a Dodgers fan, so I mean. This, <laughs> so I agree with Max. This, if Mookie going to take us all the way, that's all I'm going to say. I will say, though, I think um, the de facto National League championship will be the Padres versus the Dodgers. I think the Padres will beat the Cardinals. And I think the winner of the Padres-Dodgers will win the NL, in my opinion. But I can see it. I mean, I, I mean, like we're gonna admit it. Like none of us really like are truly into baseball, like we are into NBA yeah. or the yeah. NFL. So our predictions are probably gonna be pretty off. But I mean, like I know enough about the Dodgers. They've had a loaded roster the last For, couple of yeah, years. They, yeah, they right. like yeah. They just haven't been able to complete their season at all the past couple of years. And it, I mean, like I'm I'm not gonna consider myself a Dodgers fan. I'm a Reds fan, but like <laughs> I'll still cheer on the Dodgers. I have nothing against them, and it's so it's it's kind of upsetting whenever they. Lose in the World Series yeah. like so many times in a row, but yeah, yeah, I'll uh, definitely root for them over the um, Astros. Oh yeah, um, yeah for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But talking about me being a Reds fan, um, this is one of the teams that I was saying like I'm extremely surprised they made it to the postseason. I know we picked up Trevor Bayer, and like I mean that's a huge pickup. I'll, he yeah. lit, mm-hmm. went insane the, uh, last night uh, in the first playoff game. We came up short and everything, but honestly, I'd love to see an upset out of that and. Uh, because I mean that just gets me more into the baseball. I mean, seeing your favorite team make the playoffs right, sure. kind of gets you a lot more into it. Just like the NBA. Yeah. I'm a Royals fan, so um, you know it's been a tough couple of years since they won the World Series a few years back. It's been tough. But <laughs> Jacob, who do you got? Uh, I got the Dodgers just because we have a minor league team yes. in Oklahoma called the Dodgers. So great. Why not? <laughs> no, I, can, I can see it. I mean, that's also I can I can consider like that's maybe why I'm also like somewhat a Dodgers fan. I right. guess yeah. I guess I can say that. It's yeah, kind of right. like if you're a fan of the the G League teams, you know, <laughs> you you might root for the NBA oh, teams, yeah. maybe. Right. Yeah. Of course. All right, that was just a quick segment. Now we're moving on to uh, Mount Rushmore college football uniforms. Uh, if you guys haven't watched our, I think our second episode, uh, a Mount Rushmore is our like top four of something. Um, I think the first time we did it, we had top four of uh, Heritage Hall players in all sports. Mm-hmm. And this time, it's college football uniform. So I'll start it off. Uh, my top uniform, in my opinion, I mean, we're not going to share any. Like, I think we can all agree that, like, Oregon is up on top and everything. But right. um, I'll take North Carolina with mine. Uh, if you guys see me, I have some North Carolina uh, gear on me and everything just because I always love their colors and everything. And I really think you can't go wrong with those uniforms, and I think they did a well job, like with their uh, diamonds on their uniforms and everything. That those will yeah. always look sweet to me. You can't go wrong with Tar Heel blue, that's for sure. Oh yeah, exactly. My first, um, my first one is the T- TCU. Um, they honestly, I think they're kind of have underrated uniforms. Um, like they I so I really like their color scheme. When sometimes they run a little bit of black in there, they got some like the purple and white looks really good together. I think. Yeah. Oh yeah, those all black I, I think looks great. And yeah. then, I mean like I've always been a fan of purple. I'm a Vikings fan, yeah. so like, uh, <laughs> I, I like it. I like TCU's uniforms. Uh my number one is Oregon. Um like before I said there, I think everybody's number one. Really in reality is Oregon. I mean like I mean they are in the Nike capital of the world, but I mean uh their helmets, they got silver helmets, they got I mean they got every color I mean color scheme of their color. I mean and then now they just added a year ago the black Jordan uniforms, so I think those. I think. I mean, I don't know what they're gonna come out first game of the year, but uh, I think it's gonna be uh, something to look out for. So it's always something different. Oregon, yeah. Oregon will always be superior to everybody else. <laughs> Let's yeah. just admit it. The the chrome uniforms will or the chrome helmet uni, uniform oh, yes. will always be superior mm-hmm. with the, the the wings on the, the helmets wings. and everything. Yeah. Yes. But talking about TCU, I want to bring that back. 
Um, I think my favorite TCU uniform I've ever seen, though, is the uh, Rose Bowl uniform. Yeah. Like that, just like the the rose and the, oh, yeah. the horn frog mouth yeah. is just one of like yeah. the smallest additions you can make, but like one of the coolest additions you can make. Just the little things that make this look really good. Yeah. yeah. Just those type of things in uniforms is what I love. Jacob, you got any uh, favorites? Yeah, I have to go with uh, Wyoming <laughs> on this one. You know, the, I like, you know, everybody loves the vibrant brown color oh, yes. of the uniforms mixed with the yellow. I mean, it's it's spectacular. Yeah, the brown, brown and yellow, love just it. <laughs> perfect combo. Their their throwback uniforms look the same as their current uniforms. <laughs> you, can't, you can't ask for anything better than that. So. Oh yeah, of course. All right, bring it bring it back to me. I guess uh, I think this is one of the, like, the. It's always stayed the same, but it's always been one of the best. Is Ohio State. Um, really, I mean, just all around, always been good. Like, even their alternates have always been sweet. Uh, their helmets will always be up there um, with the stickers and everything. You just got to always put Ohio State up there. Yeah, speaking of Ohio State, um, they're, um, they're all black uniforms that ran a couple of times um, a couple years ago. Those are really nice, I think. They're yeah, all those black are uniforms. Dope. All black. I, I mean, I just I don't think Ohio State's ever had a bad uniform, no, honestly. No. <laughs> no. And, I mean, I just like their red and, you know, the, the silver with it. Just yeah. always looks good. Uh, my second one is Penn State. Um, kind of similar to um, Fords, they just they haven't really ever changed, honestly, at all. And I think you know they're they're really the most basic uniforms like ever. It's just they look really good being basic. The all white helmets, um, especially like when they're when they're wearing a white jersey with the white pants and the white helmet, I think it looks really good. Just um, it's something that's just, it's a, almost like a blue blood classic. Penn State obviously considered a blue blood, um, and then their uniforms are just they never change. They've always been iconic, so I really like them. The all white. All white and I mean the white, blue, white. For it's always sure. stayed the same, but it always looks good. Always look good. Uh, my second is Florida State. Um, I mean, I just, I mean, I, I mean, I love the burgundy and gold, and then they just added a couple years ago the all black unis. I think the all black. I mean, they changed it up this year. I think they got a new all black uni, but like with the red stripes yeah. and stuff on the sh- shoulders, I like that. But I think what really made me like their uniforms was the the spear on the side of the helmet. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. I think I think Jameis Winston's time was yeah. Whenever yeah, yeah. everybody yeah, kind of um, hopped yeah. in the bandwagon for the Florida State Unis for sure. Yeah. All right. Are we bringing it back to me? Yeah. I, all right. I'll I'll go ahead and take a Florida. I I mean like I just love my list for some reason. I just love every team's <laughs> uniforms. Uh, Florida, I've always liked. I mean like even with like the Tim colorway. Tebow. Yeah. I mean the the orange and blue. I, I think will always look good. Uh, I mean, it's. Just, I mean, same thing with like. I mean, the Thunder's orange and blue too. I love those and everything. Sunset. Uh, yeah, and and like I know, and now that uh, I just loved it. Like even whenever Tim Tebow's there and like Cam Newton or anything, you look at them in those uniforms. I th- I just think they look so nice. I like Flores all orange uniforms. They're yeah. all orange. Yeah. yeah. Not to mention, they, they've got Jordan with OU. Jordan, Michigan, Florida. That OU, also makes them really Jordan. nice now. Too, yeah. Also, North Carolina. Yeah, yeah North Carolina. Oh yeah, and In Oregon, the, and whenever I mean, like same thing with Florida. Oh, okay, I take that back. I was about to say they're really consistent with their uniforms, and then I totally forgot they released the uh, the Gator uniforms, uh, yeah, the, the Gator yeah. skin. skin. Yeah. That's one of the worst uniforms in college football. But we're gonna ignore yeah. that. Yeah, we're gonna keep Florida <laughs> on my list, and we're gonna have them as one of the best with their normal uniforms. Yeah. And then whenever they release yeah. the white helmet with the big F on it, mm-hmm. that was I love that. Yes, yeah, those are nice. Sure. Uh, my third one, um, I've got. Notre Dame, I re- it's kind of similar to Penn State in a way. They've never really changed. Um, they've had some really cool alternates in the past recent years, but my personally, my favorite is just the simple when they wear the navy, navy jersey with the um, white pants, and then they got the gold helmet. You just that gold helmet is just so iconic. I think the shiny yeah. gold, nothing on it. I think it's just it looks so good. I think. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, there's just so many iconic uniforms in College Football that you literally have to put like some of them in some of them. Some of them in here. Sorry, my bad. Um, like, I mean, I I don't think any of us put down Alabama, but the, I mean, like, yeah, you, the, it's hard not to, you know. I mean, we're a younger generation, so we're not gonna be like all on the Alabama bandwagon for that. But I think those are just another classic uniform. And if you want to make like a classic uniform list, like that, it's definitely in there. But Notre Dame still like keeps it up with the the shiny gold helmet, yeah. and they'll always look good. <laughs> The alternates look good too, so it's not yeah, like they, they made bad, bad alternates. Except I, I, I disagree with the green ones. I'm, okay, I'm now like the green ones are not amazing, but 
They're not I mean, as bad as the Florida ones. <laughs> they, they could they could make the green uniforms for Notre Dame way better. But you got to remember they are signed to Under Armour, so I mean. Okay, yeah, Under Armour. Yeah, that's very true. Yeah, we'll say <laughs> not to go at, not to go at Under Armour since Heritage is going under Under Armour. <laughs> hey, we're not. Hey, hey, not everybody listen, wa- listen, watch or watching. Don't listen to that. We are Nike right now. For our yeah. senior year, we are Nike. Yes. So I I can diss Under Armour real quick. Sneak diss them, but um, okay. yeah. I mean, I think we can agree. I mean, Nike is probably a little bit superior to Under Armour. Like, oh, yeah. uh, I love yeah, Under Armour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nike is superior. Little, Nike is superior. <laughs> very, very superior. <laughs> but it's also, okay, kind of off topic here, but like if I was in the NBA or something like that and I had to sign with the brand, I would not sign with Nike just because I wouldn't want to be like the classic Nike. Because everyone I mean, has Nike. I see that. I feel like that also depends on how much money they offer you. Okay, that's true. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> it does come around to that. I mean, I mean, which can be best offer and, you the best deal? And I mean, I think I think a lot of people do sign with Nike because of the name, and then they don't get paid that much until they actually blow up in the league, and then they finally get a chance to get their own shoe. But like, yeah. at the end of the day, I was I just, okay. If Under Armour came to me and offered me a hundred mil, I would sign Under Armour. I, I don't like the yeah. brand, but they're paying me a hundred million. To yeah. Wear their stuff. Okay. Yeah. It's it's like, that's how. That, but that's how most that's, of that stuff goes. Though it's not like they like it. So it's yeah. like. Yeah. I, mean, I still like it's a shoe, like Kawhi, a shoe, you know. It's like Kawhi Leonard New Balance. signing with New Balance. He got paid. Of all things. Yeah. And that's why all these young dudes are signing with Puma because Puma has money because they have no superstar to pay. And look yeah, at Clay Thompson. Really he signed with, um, what's it? Is it Brooks or something like that? I don't know. Some, I thought it was a China shoe. Yeah, it's a Chinese but shoe. But he's getting paid. That's he's why he signed. Yeah. yeah. That's why Zion and Luca signed with not Jordan because they're getting paid. Yeah. Even mm-hmm. though Russell Westbrook is the highest paid Jordan player. So, I mean, <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, but yeah. Uh, my third is Oklahoma State. Um, I just love when they did have those all gray uniforms, like probably what, four or five, six years ago. Yeah. And now mm-hmm. those all gray uniforms. And I love their unis now. Don't get me wrong. I love, I like, I like their kind of like, it's not burnt, but it's kind of like light at the same time, orange. And I love the star helmets. The star helmets. I love the uh-huh. star helmets. Like the sheriff star. Yeah. yeah. I, I do like the Pistol Pete ones, but I think, I feel like that's just, I don't know. I get tired of seeing Pistol Pete. So. I mean, <laughs> I, I always. I mean, like I love the Oklahoma State throwback uniforms, yeah. the ones that they wore last week, and yeah, those were nice. Mm-hmm. I think really the good. the ones they wore last year dedicated to Barry Sanders. This year is Thurman Thomas, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. And yeah, and last year is Barry yeah. Sanders, yeah. and I would, I think those are one of the best uniforms that like any team has ever worn, just because they look so yeah. nice. Yeah. I mean, I a lot of Oklahoma State uniforms I like, but there are some that I have not really liked. Like there are a couple of the ones with the pistol Pete that like the helmets just. You, I don't really like the helmets, but ultimately, though, OSU has good uniforms, I will say. Yeah. You guys will judge me for this, but I never liked OSU's gray uniforms. What? Wow. <laughs> they weren't my favorite, but, but they were nice. I though, liked like, them. I just thought it was different. Like, yeah, when I was playing okay. NCAA yeah. 14, I would, I was, if I played with OSU, That's fair. Yeah. I would use the gray uniforms. Well, it's just like, if we're going to talk about NCAA 14, I, I, I used <laughs> OU's alternates I from know. 2009. That's when I really started <laughs> playing. Florida State, I'd wear Florida State's all black uniforms every time I played with them. Like, yeah. This is, yeah. And that's been, Oregon always had the good uniforms in NCAA 14 also. They had the wings on the shoulder. Yeah. Now if we want to mount Rushmore of NCAA football <laughs> uniforms. Now, it's totally, totally different list. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> totally yeah, different. yeah, but I say it's like. All right, I'm going to go back to my list. Last one, Michigan. Uh, I mean, I know this is always off and on for people, but you can't disagree with me that their helmet is just one of the most classic helmets. Yeah. And Wolverine. Oh, yeah. And the, I mean, the, so many high schools use that now and everything just because it's so nice. And I mean, I just, and I, I mean, like it's like matte, matte blue. Like I think that always looks nice and everything. Yeah, the and color scheme. And, yeah. yeah. Blue and yellow looks do good. They, do they have a, a yellow uni? I don't yeah. think so. They may no, have like an alternate. I think they, they were. I think, I think they, they wore an all u- yellow once or something. Yeah, that, I, I thought like that was dope. Yellow. That's why I was like, they. I don't. I've never seen them like wear it consistently. They wear it yeah, like no. every. Let's look it up. We can always pull up a picture for the video podcast. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. So they once wore, That's yeah, right, with yeah. their Jordan uniforms. This might have been like last year or two years ago. They wore all yellow. I'm actually pretty sure it's against Florida that they wore all yellow because it was oh, yeah, all the, yellow um, and the, Michigan like the and then Bowl. all blue Florida. Yeah, that yeah. was like the first time they've ever worn like That's two. That's right, yeah. Mm-hmm. It was a Peach Bowl or whatever it was in um, Florida, Florida one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I got it. I put Michigan up there. And they're, one time they wore like all blue when they were Adidas still. Like I, I mean, like I usually do not like Adidas uniforms, and the, <laughs> I think Adidas I thought those look nice. I like, I mean, Adidas makes good at football gear. I don't think they make good uniforms. They've kind of, I think they've kind of made a comeback though in general. Like for a while, they were kind of the, the lower echelon. They were the they, third they, party. Definitely, yeah, they've definitely made was, a comeback though. I mean, Nike 
Rich was killing everything. I mean, Nike's <laughs> too. I mean, you can't even. Jordan is Nike, but it's like. I mean, I don't know how to explain that. Like, because like when you talk about brands, it's like you say Jordan and Nike, but at the end of the day, they're the same brand. Because Nike right. wants Jordan. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I mean, Nike's is winning in two different worlds. So for my for my last one, I've got um, Iowa Hawkeyes. Um, might kind of seem a little bit different considering they, they look a lot like the Steelers uniforms, but they do. I like like they've worn a couple alternates where it's all black, and I think they look really really good. Like when it, it's just when they do it all black with um, the blackout with the fans, it um, I think it just it it goes together really well. I think so. I, I kind of like the color scheme that yellow and black. I think it looks really good. Oh yeah, I can see it. Yeah, I, I can d- see that too. I don't like their normal uniforms really as much, but their alternates. I they, can see that. They can, yeah, they can release some good alternates for sure in there. Uh, my th- I mean my fourth uh, uh team is Miami. I mean. I mean, they're Adidas. I mean, I don't like their too early two thousands uniforms. They kind of look basic. But as they get like, they're okay. Here, okay, I take back. Adidas doesn't make good uniforms. I was about to say. <laughs> I, I was about to say. <laughs> whenever you were bashing Adidas yeah. a minute ago, yeah. I was like, no. I was like, you have an I Adidas wasn't, I, I team wasn't on your ba- list. I wasn't bashing them like that. I mean, like, <laughs> but I think about. I'm, I'm mostly think it's because of Miami's colorway. Why they look so good? I mean, I love Miami's all black uniforms, and I actually I love how they have that. Like, I don't know if they did it, but like they got that. White and like the green on the side of their jerseys, I like that. And I, but I, I want to see. Do they do they still have an all green uniform? I or no? Know. I don't think they wear. But I like I, the, yeah, that was like kind of like tails on like fourteen. I feel like that yeah. they wear that. I thought it was like yeah, it was kind of earlier. But I love their all orange. That's like true. The, yeah. the, the and, new all orange mm-hmm. uniform they and have. their like ocean uniform that they made, yeah. like yeah. the recycling one. They've got yeah. a couple of really good uniforms. And I mean, you I will can't. Say. And you can't, I mean, you can't not put Miami there. And they got the the, the, the turnover chain. So, I mean, I, that's an ad. There you go. <laughs> so, yeah. No, that's true. Yeah. yeah. And the turnover uh, ring. Or yeah, the, they got the, yeah. I mean. Or not turnover ring. Is it touchdown ring? That's something. Yeah. Right. Okay. yeah. Jacob, any last opinions on this? Well, I got to say you're all wrong. It's Wyoming. <laughs> yeah. That's uniform, so. I can't argue with that. Uh, oh. Wyoming, maybe. oh, we forgot something. Boise State has nice uniform. Boise State. Boise State. State. Uh, yeah. Has nice uniforms. I like their all black. Okay, for I mean, for to talk about this forever, I feel like oh, you need all black uniform. Okay, we do. And this is, we do. Okay, <laughs> and this is the year to bring it out because they've already spoken about how they're going to change the bring the wood uniforms to yeah. black uniforms for the black we did, lives we did matter. That for the K State game, and so you know, yeah, we had okay, the, yeah, we had the yeah, black yeah, stripe, yeah, yeah, and but they've already talked about making a black jersey, mm-hmm. but making it like white, black, white, but instead like that why not clean? Why not make it mm-hmm. all black? And I've seen outlines of it. I um, think. On Twitter and everything, and yeah. I think it look amazing. We, we've seen, it. I mean, we've seen OU basketball run with the black uniform, like the black uniform. We had red numbers, and those look really good. They so have we a gray. Definitely, we can definitely do it. We had gray and black. Yeah. yeah, I like OU's basketball gray. You need that's. They look really good. Really good. Yeah. yeah, we wore those a couple of times, um, like as kind of like an alternate. They look really good. Yeah, I mean, like I would say, I, I mean, I, not to be biased or anything, but I could easily put OU's alternates in here, just or like yeah. OU's oh, uniforms, yeah, period, just because like I love They're like iconic. the bulky numbers yeah. and everything, yeah. mm-hmm. but. I hate their uni- alternate Ten. uniforms now. I absolutely hate them just because we never <laughs> we win in them. We never win in them. Um, the white, mm-hmm. red, white, or whatever just never works, and we should never wear it ever again. The red the red jersey period yeah. in the alternate <laughs> uniforms, if we ever wear yes. that again, I'll yeah. be super oh, disappointed. A lot of Big 2017, 12. I would say. But a lot of Big 12 teams have nice uniforms. Texas Tech does, too. Te- I was just about to say that. Texas Tech has really good uniforms, I, and I, you, I like Utah, too. Iowa State's. Yeah, Iowa I know State. y'all. I know I'm an OU fan. But I like I like I don't know why I like the Texas burnt orange I don't know yeah why. I it's too. pretty I, I know I hate pretty. saying that but I do I think it's pretty I think the orange is pretty I don't, I don't like the orange but I like their color or like their uniforms yeah I've never really been been a big fan of Texas uniforms I mean I just like I the, don't orange like the, orange. the orange jersey the orange jersey is just nice I know I could see how you like it I've just never really have that burnt orange never really appealed to me but I can Texas see how it does. needs a black uniform with the burnt orange longhorn on the side of the all black that would that'd be nice that could black be cool. black uniform. I would look good actually. I think about that. I that and they have good. the Texas and the burnt yeah. orange, and uh-huh. they have the yeah. That actually look really good. I think actually. And the burnt orange it. numbers, that'd be nice. <laughs> All right. I hope you guys liked our uh, segment of call, or Mount Rushmore college uniforms. We'll probably bring out my, Mount Rushmore again. We've already used it twice. Yep. So uh, if you guys have any topics that you can think of, like that'd be fantastic. If yeah. You send, suggest- send it our uh-huh. way. Um, back to our Insta. Give it a yeah. follow. Yeah. Yeah, follow, the, follow the Insta, please. Yeah, seriously. And subscribe to Charger Vision on uh, YouTube real quick. Yep. Oh, yeah, of course. All right. Or Spotify, yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Peace.